What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. Thanks for joining me and let's explain why we haven't seen much content with uh, Fit in the Body Kit and whatnot. So I'm gonna roll, I'll probably, actually let me check what the weather's gonna be like because I can't roll the car back in by myself. I'm not really supposed to rain. All right, so maybe we'll roll the car out. I'm gonna roll the car out in a, in a couple minutes to show you what we, what we got done so far with fitting this body kit. Um, as you could probably see from there, the hood is on, the fender's on. Well, both fenders are on. We know we did the rear bumper and the rear fenders already, but carbon fiber hood. To fit the front bumper, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of trimming because of the front mount intercooler and the oil cooler that I have mounted on the front of that. So it kind of sticks out a lot. Um, I will show you one of the bars that I might have to make some pieces up to make it fit make it look like it fits good because right at the moment I think the bumper is going to wind up sagging. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, side skirts are just held in by side skirts are just held in by the door being closed at the moment. And so far the side skirts seem to be the worst fitting things with this whole kit. Um, if you're not aware which kit it is, I have mentioned it before. If you're not if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But the kit is a Car Modify Wonder kit, 30 millimeter wider. Doing a Going from a Zanke front end to a Kuki front end, so we're doing the conversion. That's why we need this new bar, but I might just try to fab something up instead. Um, maybe I'll try to roll the car up, take a good look at it, and uh, then we'll go from there. Like I said, the side skirts are just held in by the door being closed at the moment, so I'm not gonna pull the door open, but um, whatever, we gotta get mounted. Gotta get mounted in a couple spots. I think there's two in the front, two in the back over there, and then maybe one or two along the side. Same on the, same on the passenger side. Same. Same thing, you get the idea. Front bumper. Um, a little dark in there, but move this out. See, uh, intercooler, oil cooler. Just slide this in. It's gonna wind up hitting, so um, just to get it all lined up. Just have it like resting in place for now. Um, I assume this hole is gonna get bolted there, and the same on the other side. So um, as long as I have those lined up, I could probably make some marks where this is gonna have to get cut, and then cut a little, cut a little notch, and just do a little at a time. Just do a little bit at a time until we get it pretty close, and we can do the final uh, finishing touches on it to get it nice and clean, so it doesn't look like complete trash. Look here. This is the. I don't even know what this bar is actually called. But that was sitting there. Um, it would wind up sitting right across like there. And it bolt in and actually, it's actually supposed to bolt in um, there and there on the fenders. But when you switch to the Kuki, you're supposed to get a new one of those bars, whatever that's actually called. I don't know what it's called offhand. And this is for the Zenki, so it's actually a little smaller it's not as long from end to end, and there's probably a different shape in there also, so took it off for now. Probably just gonna get the bumper fitted without it, and if anything, we might make a little bracket. We could bend some metal and weld some stuff and whatnot if we need to make it fit so it doesn't sag, but that's a game plan eventually. Last thing I'm gonna update you guys on, oh, well, 
I should probably explain why none of it was filmed. I did film footage putting one fender on and the hood and fixing the exhaust, but of course all the footage got corrupted. So bought a new SD card, so we hopefully never have that problem again, but it is what it is. This is why you're getting an update video instead of like actual work video. Now let's go look at the exhaust quick. Um, I'll see if I can find a before photo so you can see how it looked beforehand, but coming in now. As you see, um, the last video we were touching right there, I can't come over more this way because then we'll hit the bumper there. So right now we're not hitting any bumper. And what we, what we did here, I'm not gonna be able to get a good video of it, but you see that, um, see this right here, that was cut and welded by me. So the welds aren't the, the prettiest, but it's under the car and you'll never see them. But it is what it is. Works. If you look at like certain angles, it's pretty, I mean, it would be more centered if it came straight out of the bumper, but um, I mean, I guess I would have had to bend it a little bit more. But like I said, then we'll wind up hitting bumper over here. It's already really close there, but not bad. Then the last part of this little quick update, I'm trying to keep this quick because like I said, last uh, 240 video was an update video. Now this is another update video, so let's try to keep it rolling. Try to keep it short and sweet. Got some light, so it's a little bit better. See the 240 in the background, me. It's better looking to me. But um, headlights, I do have the lights. I just have to go pick them up. I bought them from this, this guy right here, Nismo parts plug. Uh, I did buy a bunch of OEM parts for my motor build from him when I was doing that and if you have any OEM Nissan parts you want go hit him up then we'll pretty much be on our way to completing this completing it for now um, then we'll decide on paint or wrap and like I said most likely we'll do paint but you just got to save up some money for that because paint's really expensive but once again thanks for joining me that's it for this video gonna end it there just gonna clean up this damn garage since one of the cars is out now the other one's still on the jack stands I do have to get Back to working on this car, I know, but we'll get to it. We'll get we'll get around to fixing that uh, fixing that kit, and more footage on the 240. 240 isn't that far from being drivable again, and maybe I'll just paint the door mirror and the side panels of the wing, and then we're basically all white for now. It looks it'll pass the 50 foot test at least. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more content. Like the video, leave some comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.